What is up guys, this is Dave from Asian with Hat over here and this is a, another pro tip for you guys. Now this is mainly for the guys that have uh, basically the uh, TMC Gen 3 Cry Air Flex um, and they don't come with uh, Velcro usually so I'm uh, here to show you guys about how to uh, get it done properly and not you know basically just put in Velcro and they just come off. By the way this also goes for some of the guys from Emerson that actually uh, use basically the uh, old uh, Gen 2, uh, I guess that's what they call Gen 2 knee pads. Um, I just got this used basically, and um, I'm not going to show you guys in the video, but it's basically going to be the, basically the same thing. And uh, the guy tried to do the same thing, except he missed one um, important portion. Um, this is what I'm talking about is that when you can easily peel them off. Well, I'm going to show you guys basically a, an almost near permanent solution about how to do it. So, you guys can see over here, um, this is my other. Uh, TMC Gen 3 Airflex knee pads, uh, knee pad, and uh, basically what all I really did was that I used uh, some uh, fabric glue or uh, vinyl fabric and plastic. Uh, it's from Loctite. Um, I just call it fabric glue. Um, if you walk into Walmart and ask them um, if you if you can get some uh, fabric glue, they'll basically point you in the direction of like seeing so the adhesive section or um, basically this will usually be with uh, super glue and uh, 90% of the time that I walked into Walmart or Ace Hardware or Home Depot, I actually find this over there. So you can see over here, you guys can actually see. Um, you guys can see over here. Um, I'm not trying to pull on it, but um, I did this a few hours ago, um, like maybe an hour or two ago, and you can actually see some of the stickiness over here. Uh, that's the vinyl glue. Um, I didn't put in too much, but I'm just trying out something else. Uh, sometimes, um, the last time I did this, I actually put on too much. Like, I put on a gloop of uh, vinyl or uh, uh, fabric glue. And uh, I put in too much, and it kind of left a little bit of excess. I just put on enough, and I'll show you guys uh, what I did. Um, on here, I'm going to actually demonstrate it uh, on camera. But basically, the reason why some, some of this, like, saying so, if, if I was to actually do this... Um, it would actually come out, but there's some Velcro over here. Uh, like, um, I don't know if you can see it, but basically, um, if you can uh, see this, is that I put in this much um, right here, about two inches of uh, Velcro. Um, you can buy some Velcro at Walmart. Um, depending on how much Velcro you want, you can get basically like 15 feet of Velcro for like $20. I uh, basically did that, and it worked out well. Or you can go buy like two dollars worth of velcro and it would do the same you just had to cut it out a lot um, this time I just did less cutting it was actually a lot easier if you just buy these if you're going to be doing a lot of velcro like I do with some of my products not products but basically some of my items um, but yeah it's uh, it's very easy um, I can show it to you on camera right now it's just uh, I'm just showing you the demonstration um, and as you can see there's this, uh, this uh, fabric over here that's kind of like uh, the hook, not the hook, but the um, uh, the loop for Velcro. This is the loop for Velcro, if you can see it right now. This is basically the loop, and this is the hook right here. We call this the hook, and then this is the loop. Um, so, this feels like uh, something that's like the hook. Um, not as, you know, like industrial or um, industrial Velcro, but it'll still stick, as you can see. You can hear that it's uh, actually sticking to it, so it actually works out well. So, uh, like I said, when you try and pull on this, um, on some of your uh, knee pads uh, that you put in, they don't have the Velcro well. Um, if you actually put, uh, do it properly, then it won't uh, come out. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you guys want to see how I did this, so I'm going to do it on basically the top part on camera. Hopefully um, I don't screw up on camera. So. Um, Take out, you know, the uh, slick part. I don't know what they call it, but uh, take out the piece that, you know, keeps the uh, keeps the Velcro sticky. And then uh, we're going to use the vinyl or uh, fabric glue is what I'd call it uh, on here. And all you basically have to do is just, you know, uh, you do, you like I said, you don't have to put on too much. You just basically have to rub some glue on here. You just have to press uh, press some, just put, in, put enough pressure to where some of the glue comes out and just, you know, rub on the velcro and I'm gonna do a little bit more so I can take care of those small gaps um, 
I think this is um, good enough, uh, as you guys can see on camera. So uh, we're going to move on to the next part of it. Um, after you get the uh, fabric glue onto the Velcro, we're going to put the, the, um, the sticky part. We'll put these out. Uh, we're going to pull this out, and then we're going to put it, put some of it under the knee pad. The reason why you do it under the knee pad is because when you put in uh, when you put in the uh, knee pad, some of the uh, some of this part right here is going to cover it up so that you know you don't get some of the black. On my old um, Gen 2 or Gen 3 uh, knee pads from uh, TMC that are multicam, um, my multicam pants, um, they're base. I basically put them out just thinking that it's a good spot. Instead, uh, I should have put them over here. So um, I just took a picture from. Uh, Cry Precision looked at the pants or looked at the knee pads and basically put in almost near the same spots as where they are except the top. The top is kind of different. Basically they have Velcro here and Velcro here and I think Velcro here. Okay, so the next step is going to be on the left side. Um, left side or right side, it could be the top. You could start anywhere, but I'm just going to do the left side because I can. And uh, the reason why I, you need to use fabric glue is like uh, I showed you on the uh, knee pads over here is that uh, kind of, it doesn't work that well. I mean, even if you have the best Velcro, I can guarantee you that the stickiness won't uphold for a while. This will uphold, and you can actually uh, use this glue and uh, use it for basically. Um, if you were to use it out, uh, use it for use these knee pads with the Velcro and the vinyl or fabric glue, and you were to run uh, run with it in rain, I can guarantee you that this will actually work because. This uh, guarantees that you can actually put this in the washer. Um, it says that around here somewhere. Um, I'm I can't remember where I found it on here, but um, if you uh, read somewhere around here, I think it says you can actually wash it. Um, I even asked uh, one of the guys from Ace Hardware about it when I first uh, got the fabric glue. They said you can put this. I asked basically at the first time. Uh, I need glue that's kind of waterproof and still sticky and flexible and they basically point me at this or they actually looked at some of it and looked at this. So um, it's kind of waterproofish. Um, it's kind of flexible. It's very flexible. It's kind of sticky. Um, but it's not like, you know, super glue sticky. Super glue is kind of brittle. So I don't recommend using super glue on um, Velcro. I've tried that many times before and it fails a lot. This is a lot more flexible. So if you were to, you know, basically bend, bend your uh, knee pads a little bit, or um, bend uh, bend some of the portions of it with your Velcro. It will stay on there just because the the uh, glue is a lot more flexible. So uh, move, moving on, we're going to do the last part, which is the right side. And I'm going to put on a few more. You know, lay down some uh, glue around here. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. Doesn't need to be too neat. Just need to make sure that you have enough. Um, I'm gonna try and show on camera. I hope this can help you guys. Um, okay, so uh, right there, I guess. If you guys can see it, um, there's all that uh, bubbles you see. That's basically all the glue. Uh, before, you know, you could see. Uh, you can't see the the, the uh, adhesive of the Velcro itself, but. Uh, let's see if I can do this right before I talk anymore. Okay, there you go. You just stick it on there, and then give it a. I think it says on the instructions, give it a few hours. Uh, hold together with tape for two hours for a larger repair. So I give it a few hours before you know you start using it. Um, you know, just that type of thing. If you, uh, use at your uh, use the glue at your discretion, let it dry at your discretion. Um, Shouldn't be that hard to do. Um, kind of sticky, so when you're done, go wash your hands. Um, not that hard, so I guess you can save like you know thirty dollars instead of buying Cry Precision knee pads. Um, I know I'd want to, but sometimes if you are like in college or you need the money for food, I'd highly you know recommend doing this type of solution. It's probably a little bit cheaper, and you can use the extra amount of 14 foot, 15 foot Velcro that you have uh, for like saying so your helmet or some other stuff like saying so. This is my third pair of Emerson. Well, not third pair, but basically my third Chinese um, pants in camo. So I thought this isn't like a cheaper solution instead of you know paying $90 worth of knee pads. All right, so we're gonna move on to the last step. 
Um, well, it's kind of the last step for me. Um, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and uh, put it in anyhow, like I said, do it at your discretion. Um, I don't know if you know if these actually come out out of nowhere if you did it um, incorrectly, but uh, it seems to stick pretty well. I mean, you can see it right now. I'm trying to move it around. It's not moving around at all. Um, so that's pretty good friction right there. So uh, let's try and put it in uh, now. Basically, do it the normal way uh, that you do with the fry stuff is basically put it in there, and then I just tuck in these two, and then put in the last one. Maybe doing this wrong. I do it my own way partially too, but uh, oh wow, I did that wrong. Looking at a camera through the screen, it's kind of weird. So anyhow, next part, um, you're gonna put your hand in the pants. And you're going to feel for uh, some of the Velcro, and you're going to use your other hand. Um, try and get this part of the Velcro, the loop Velcro. I think that's what they're called. I may be wrong. Don't quote me if I'm saying it wrong. Maybe hoop or, uh, hook or loop. Either way, I can't remember right now. Um, anyhow, do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to use my other hand with my other, in conjunction with my other hand to try and get this on. And uh, try and feel, uh, like I said, feel for it. You know, make sure that you get some of the, uh, you know, make it flex out a little bit so that, you know, it's evened out a little bit. There you go. I'm going to do a test for you. I'm going to show you. You can hear the Velcro right now. It's trying to uh, hold on, but it's not coming out. So, there you go. So, this is David from Asian with Hat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe in the next time, I'll try and uh, beta test these. Um, I think they uh, work pretty well right now. Um, I prefer Airflex knee pads for over this just because there's less cuts. There's no cuts over here, so they don't flex as easily. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything, but I'll probably show you guys in another demonstration eventually. This is David from Asian with Hat, and I'll see you guys in the next video.